Hi guys, this is Vidas and welcome to another training. Today I, I'd like to uh, show you a little bit what it means to move uh, from one organ playing level to the next. How to reach the next level in organ playing. Because you obviously understand that uh, sometimes we uh, practice our pieces, uh, our repertoire, our exercises, or improvisation, or hymns, all, or the mix of them together. Uh, day after day, week after day, week, and we see progress, right? It's, it's really exciting. But after some months, you hit the plateau. And uh, today I'm going to talk how to move past this plateau. It's really, really important so that you keep always progressing to the next level. Okay, we have this, um, um, uh, we have this uh, organ studio at the uh, Vilnius University, it's called Unda Mais. And um, also, I have uh, uh, Secrets of Organ Playing Contest, weekly uh, online contest where people can submit uh, their YouTube recordings and, and get prizes. So, this is really exciting way not only to get rewarded but also see your own progress week after week. We have uh, uh, people participating week after week for 100 weeks in a row you see almost uh, it's more more than 100 weeks now uh, and um, and people s do see improvement so so how do you uh, how do you encourage students to do this so our student from Undamaris studio yesterday submitted uh, this minuet in F major from the notebook uh, of Anna Magdalena Bach uh, so Diana was practicing, practicing, and I'd like to show you how she uh, how she plays it now. Okay, here end result, and then we'll talk a little bit what it uh, what it uh, how long that does it uh, did it take her to achieve this uh, fluency with this minuet. Ready? So I'm going to switch to YouTube window and, and show you uh, show you exactly how she plays. Okay, just a second. This is Diana, and let's see, let's move to the beginning, and I will show you how it sounds. Maybe not the entire minuet, but just an excerpt so that you could uh, see her level right now. Ready? <laughs> of each fragment and, and gradually speeding up the tempo, getting more fluent uh, every day. Uh, it wasn't easy, right? Uh, five and a half weeks it took her to master this. It's a beginning level piece almost, right? It's a little bit uh, more involved. There are some 16 notes, but still only two voices, no, not much of polyphonic uh, writing. So, so it's kind of easy. Five and a half weeks. So I told her now that her next target should be the next minuet. 
or the next piece that she's going to play, but not in five and a half weeks, but four weeks. You see, that's what uh, that's twenty percent of uh, faster learning process. After four weeks, sh she should be ready to record her next piece. I hope this will be possible. You see, um, that's that's my goal, and that's how you move through this plateau. Yes. So if you always keep uh, keep being at the same level and uh, practicing on the uh, easy pieces, uh, you need to figure out a way to speed up the process, and then gradually you become better at this, right? So this was Diana and her minet. From five weeks to four weeks, or five and a half weeks to four weeks, that's their target. Um, so now let's take a look at another student. Her name is Audrey. And uh, she, uh, you would, uh, you will see her, you will see her here uh, in the in the screen right now. And she also prepared a two-part uh, uh, piece from Johann Ludwig Hepp's uh, Klavier Übung Part One. Um, this is chorale setting, uh, Allein Gott in der Hose Air uh, Number One C. The last uh, setting, like Alio Modo, but she is not playing all the parts with uh, continual notation, but just the outer outer voices, soprano and the bass. Uh, that's beginning level, just like Diana, but even easier, shorter piece. So I want you to listen to this performance a little bit, and then we'll discuss what her next uh, stage will be. All right, ready? Okay. Here we go. Alan got two voices. Oh dear. <laughs> She's also very fluent with this piece, but the, the thing is, uh, it was uh, she took uh, three weeks to master this piece. It took three weeks to master this two-part texture, and I told her now uh, that her target should be two weeks instead of three weeks, two weeks. If she um, took another piece from the same Klavirubung uh, collection by Krebs, Johann Ludwig Krebs, like. Number two, also the last one uh, from the ABC settings, uh, just soprano and, and the bass parts. And uh, she would learn it in three weeks. That would be the same level, right? But her target is a little bit higher now, two weeks, all right? So it's like uh, one third of the improvement, 33% of improvement basically over uh, from, the, from the past video, right? Uh, so hopefully, uh, both Diana and Audrey can can master their pieces respectively in shorter amount of time. And this is my strategy for improving and for moving to the next level in the organ playing, to reaching, uh, to moving beyond the plateau. Right. First of all, you have to record yourself. Second, you have to share it with others, like like in Audrey and Diana's case they've been submitting their videos to secrets of organ playing combined contest every week sometimes uh, 
less often because it takes, you see, more than one week to prepare uh, those pieces. So, yes, you prepare, you record, you share your pieces, and then the next thing you play, you strive to uh, record it sooner, right? Not necessarily one week sooner. You could you could say just one day sooner, the next piece, or two days sooner, depending on your goal. I uh, I recommend uh, you know being strict with yourself and trying to improve from five and a half weeks to four weeks. I think it will be doable. And for Audrey, uh, from three weeks to two weeks could be doable. And um, guess what? The next thing that will be from four weeks to three weeks from three weeks to two weeks from three weeks to from two weeks to one week from one week guess what to six days to s five days uh, four days three days in a row uh, two days one day and uh, and then you could be mastering each minuet or it's easy piece uh, and recording it every day this will take some weeks, uh, even months to master, right? But I believe the strategy gives you a more focused way of looking at your organ playing and moving beyond your plateau and uh, achieving greater results. Basically, people who participate in our contest uh, frequently see that they are quadrupling their results. So I invite you to participate in our Secrets of Organ Playing Contest. I will uh, give the link in the description of, of this video to the contest rules and you can check it out for yourself all right please uh, also share this video and uh, uh, leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and thank you so much for your support it means a lot uh, you get early access mm -hmm. and uh, i get to keep going you can see you can buy me some coffee or become a patron on patreon Guys, this was Vivas, and I'll catch you online in the next video. Bye for now.